Hello and welcome, one and all. We're here at the Aegeus Bowl. You join us for this five-over match between England and Ireland. I'm Adam Gilchrist, and with me in commentary today is Michael Atherton, Mel Jones, and the one and only Ali Mitchell. Thanks for the fabulous introduction. We're just about ready to get underway. Thanks, Alison. Let's join them down in the middle to find out who will be fielding first. Yeah, it looks like there are plenty of runs out there. Just as I expected with the captain winning the toss, they've chosen to bat first. Here we go with the first ball of the match. Nothing better than getting a match started and hearing the sound of Leather on Willow. Huge edge. Couldn't get it through the field. A lot of pressure coming to the crease. Not had the best of weeks leading up to this game, so I want to show everyone their strength. Square cut, finds point, no run. Nicked it. Let's just see if they can get that ball up into the slot as before. It's so crucial. You've got to follow up that last delivery and keep the batter under pressure. Massive outside edge. Time to follow up after such a great delivery. Pitch it on length is obviously the way to go. Drilled that one away. The gap was left open for them and they were happy to oblige. Picked it early, got into position well and punched it to the boundary. Might look to go big again here. Edge, but it drops safely. Six runs added in that over. England are six for none. Prendergast into the attack now from the northern end. Lovely shot off the front foot. Deep extra cover has some work to do. Doesn't even wait to see if the ball's going to do anything. Onto the front foot, punches it away to the boundary. Prendergast shouldn't be too worried about that last ball. They've got them playing their shots. Just need to tighten their areas now. Into the gap and finds the boundary. Wonderful shot for four. Well, what a lovely shot. It flew to the boundary. That's clearly not the type of delivery to be bowling here. I'd like to see them just aim for the top of off now. As a bowler, you've got to make them play on your terms. Misses everything. Onto the front foot, super shot, should be four. You can't hit the ball much better than that. Timed it to perfection. Now 
That last ball isn't something you want to repeat of. You don't want to be giving away easy runs. Big edge, where's that going? End, End of the over, a huge momentum swing. 18 runs coming from it. England, a 24 for none. Tremendous starts. Bowlers have been asking questions and they've answered with full honours. The right armour is coming on to bowl from the pavilion end. Bowl, stunning delivery. Is that a game changer? A real pillar in the batting order has been removed early on. And with that wicket, the new batter will mark centre. Just needs to rotate the strike early on as they get settled into their innings. Finds the fielder with that shot. Doesn't beat the infield. Richardson, too crafty. And that's the end of that. to trudge back to the pavilion. A disappointing display in the end. For someone with such batting skills, this goes down as a fail. Lots of pressure coming into bat. We'll have to wait just a little bit longer to face their first ball though. The right arm pace bowler is coming into the attack from the northern end. Someone different now to bowl at. Brings a different set of problems. I feel it's just a matter of pitching the ball up and getting them onto the front foot. Perfectly timed. That was a solid shot, really well played. Ball was dropped just a little shorter and a great shot off the back foot. A uh, good contest here at the moment. Four off the last ball. It'll be interesting to see how the bowler can respond. Huge edge. Time to keep the pressure on now. Great ball, that last one, to find the edge. It's just a case of finding the same spot. Short delivery, and she's punished that delivery beautifully. No need to run. Four more. There was a gap there and pulled away with conviction to the boundary.
getting nicely settled at the crease now. Would have to be very happy with that last shot. Great shot. There's a fielder back there, but they won't be stopping that one. Siver Brunt loves the short balls, and that hook shot was no exception. Good shot. A beauty. Well, that one's for the textbook. Stands tall on top of the bounce and a lovely flick of the wrist at the end. Some well-targeted bowling in that over. Certainly something to build on. Oh, this is world-class stuff. They're seeing the ball like a watermelon at the moment. Final over in this innings. Gone, knocked them over. Just too much pace there. As they head back to the pavilion, they'll be wishing they went about this innings a little differently. Not too much to speak of on the scoreboard. A difficult period as they come to the wicket. They'll take plenty of time to settle themselves in before facing their first ball. Finds the edge. Just got to follow up that last delivery. Found the edge, but no reward, but putting pressure on the batter. Whipped off the legs and away goes the ball. Fine leg, no chance. And a great catch in the crowd. Well, that's a waste of a delivery. Absolutely no trouble getting onto it and dispatching it for six. How will she reply? Lovely cover drive. But straight to the extra cover fielder. Four runs. They were so still at the crease. Just a slight movement forward. Fabulous shot. Having been hit for consecutive boundaries, really interested to see how they can bounce back with the next ball. Still honing in on their lines. The batter happy to let it go through. Square cut, finds point, no run. Can't get that outside the ring field. And that's the end of the innings. England have set a target of 51 runs. The openers are coming out. It's a very gettable total. They just need to get off to a good start and not give anything silly away. It's the silly stuff that could give the bowlers a sniff in this match. Wong coming in. Flex that one, simple as you like, inside the ring. Now, great opportunity to prove the critics wrong. Certainly needs to build an innings for the team.
Winds up but misses. Looks like they went a bit too early on that shot. Oh boy, that is so close to leg. Oh, I thought that was passing, but a fantastic dive to cut it off. End of the over, just one off it. Ireland are one for none. The right arm medium bowler is coming on to bowl from the pavilion end. Thick edge. Stockel has gotten the big shot away this over. Now they can focus on playing the next ball on its merits. Big edge. Tried something a bit different last delivery and the captain shouldn't mind that too much. If they get it right, they just might get that wicket. Massive edge, misses everyone, and that's racing away. Well, didn't time that at all, but managed to get it away to the boundary. Boundary last ball, what's to come this delivery, I wonder? Great shot. She's pulled that one away. Four more. Showed good composure to wait on that slower ball and find room to get the four runs. Just a fantastic shot. Well, that was a struggle, getting smacked all over the park. Eccleston, the left armour is coming on to bowl from the northern end. Was quick onto that in the infield. Onto that early, that could be four. This is a masterclass of batting. Reads the length, gets forward, dispatches it to the boundary. Just need to keep it simple. Line and length, roundabout off stump. That'll force a mistake. Massive outside edge. Couldn't get it through the field.
Glanced away nicely, but fine short, fine leg. Five runs added in that over. Ireland, a 24 for none. Glenn, the right armour is coming into the attack from the pavilion end. Gone! Caught! And gone. That's a fantastic catch. The trudge back to the pavilion. A disappointing display in the end for someone with such batting skills. This one goes down as a fail. Yeah, big opportunity. They've worked really hard in recent weeks. They should have the confidence to build an in innings and get a big score on the board. Huge edge. Time to follow up after such a great delivery. Pitch it on length is obviously the way to go. Beats the field with a great shot. That was just a super shot. The delivery was fine, great line and length, but just put away. Knight, I don't think, will be too happy with their bowler at the moment. Now the batter's made a bit of a meal of that delivery. Over Ireland, a 30 for one. Siver Brunt to finish this innings. Have to go for it now. Driven on the onside, but straight to mid wicket. They really need a boundary, this ball. Ah, oh, fantastic catch. And that's gone. Amazing catch. An innings that promised much and really, in the end, delivered very little. Pretty disappointing all round. That's well, a long way to walk out there just to turn around and walk straight back. They'll just want to get this first run behind them and then push on. No, no, no. Terrible shot. Solid shot, that's going for four. Erz on the side of bowling, slightly fuller, and they've been put away. Can't afford to go too full again. It does help to switch up your deliveries, just to keep them guessing. Edged it. They've gone up here.
Paul will review it. We're going down to the wire here. This could be a crucial moment in this game. Now, I didn't pick up on anything there. Very close to the bat, though. Good wicket to pick up, but a wasted review by the batter. You could clearly see the, and hear the edge and even see the deviation through to the keeper. Was there a bat on it? The fielders think there was. This could be trouble. That's the match. It looked like too many runs were needed in that final over, and so it has proved to be. Great bowling, brilliant win. That's the end of our broadcast for now. Hope you enjoyed the match and join us again real soon.